हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू लर्न मैथ्स टुडे वी विल डू चैप्टर नंबर 14 ऑफ आरडी शर्मा क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 एंड 4 क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 इज रोहित डिपॉजिटेड रुपीस 8000 विद द फाइनेंस कंपनी दैट मींस रोहित ने प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट 8000 का डिपॉजिट किया फाइनेंस कंपनी के पास फॉर 3 इयर्स टाइम इज 3 इयर्स राइट फ्रेंड्स at the interest of 15% per annum rate is 15% per annum per annum means yearly yearly interest what is the compound interest that rohit get after 3 years compound interest nikalna hai 3 years tak ke baad ka to first year first year compound interest hoga p into r into T upon 100 P is 8000 R is 15 percent and T is one year एक एक साल का निकालेंगे दो जीर से दो जीरो के answer the answer is zero as it is 8 fives of 40 carry 4 8 ones are 8 and 12 now principal कितना हो गया second year का 8000 जो पहले था और जो 1200 रुपए उस पे हमें मिले दैट मींस 9200 रुपीस नाउ कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट फॉर सेकंड ईयर इक्वल्स टू पी इनटू आर इनटू टी अपॉन 100 नाउ पी हमारा हो गया 9200 R हो गया 15% T है 1 year 2 0 से 2 0 cancel now 92 into 15 is 5 2 are 10 5 9 is 45 46 2 and 9 as it is 0 8 and 13 that means 1 3 8 0 now principal for third year kya ho gaya ये amount plus this that means 9200 plus 1380 85 and 10 9 plus 1 is 10 now compound interest for third year equals to P into R into T upon 100 P हो गया अब हमारा 10580 R हो गया 15% and T is for 1 year. 1060 cancel. 3 5s are 15. Sorry, 5 3s are 15. 5 2s are 10. 2 1s are 2. 2 5s are 10. 2 2s are 4. 2 9s are 18. Now 529 into 3. 3 9s are 27, 3 2s are 6, 7 8, 3 5s are 15. Now, अब हमें total amount कितना मिला है? This amount plus this amount. That means 10 and 1. Now, our compound interest for 3 years, after 3 years, how much is it? We have so much in 3 years and we have deposit so much. That means, 12167 minus 8000. That means, 4167 rupees is the compound interest. Okay friends, let's do next question. Let's do question number fourth. Question number fourth is find the compound interest on rupees 1000. Compound interest on 1000 means principal is 1000 rupees at the rate of 8% per annum. Per annum means pure salka rate 8% for one and half years. Time is one and half years. 
when interest is compounded in half yearly hame half yearly ab agar compound compounded half yearly likha hai friends to hame half of years ka 6 6 months ka nikalna hai compound interest right friends i repeat अगर कंपाउंडेड हाफ ईयरली लिखा है तो हमें सिक्स सिक्स मंथ्स का इंटरेस्ट निकालना मतलब हमें थ्री स्लॉट्स में पूरा टाइम कवर करना है डेढ़ साल लेट्स सी हाउ कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट का फॉर्मूला होता है पी इंटू आर इंटू टी अपॉन हंड्रेड नाउ पी इज वन थाउजेंड नाउ पी इज वन थाउजेंड R is eight percent, and T हम half years लेंगे. दो zero से दो zero cancel. Two ones are two, two fours are eight. That means forty. हमारा principal for next half year, next six months के लिए क्या हुआ? One thousand plus forty. That means one zero four zero rupees. Now compound interest for next six months. Equals to P into R into T upon hundred. P is one zero four zero into R is eight upon hundred. T is one again one upon two. One zero say one zero cancel. Two ones are two. Two fours are eight. It will come one zero four into four upon ten. That means four fours are sixteen, and four ones are four point. Now principal kya ho gaya ab? One zero four zero plus forty one point six. That means one zero eight one point six ho gaya. Compound interest for last six months equals to this principal one zero eight one point six. Into R that is eight upon hundred into half years next half year point thataya ten lagaya two ones are two two fours are eight four ki multiplication is meki four six are twenty four four ones are four five six four eights are thirty two four ones are four upon one thousand that means forty three point two six four principal amount ya principal whatever is equals to 1081.6 plus 43.264 ye kitna aayega now point 6 sorry 864 point laga 1 plus 3 is 4 8 plus 4 is 12 Carry one and one, right, friends? Now compound interest half yearly for one and half year will be this minus this. That means one one two four point eight six four minus one thousand. Answer is one two four point eight six four. Thank you. If you understand the step by step solution of this video. Please subscribe my channel on maths and share it with your friends thank you